Troy Buswell's senior advisor has been interviewed by police over what she knows about the night he crashed his car. She was interviewed as American-born Mike Nahan was sworn in to take over the state's purse strings. Troy Boswell's chief of staff was one of the first to see the damage done to his taxpayer-funded car, but has taken her three weeks to talk to police. I understand Rachel Turnsek has uh, spoken to police this morning, so I will leave it to them to conduct their inquiries. Major crash officers are investigating whether Mr Boswell hit up to four cars in Subiaco on the same night he was seen driving erratically. Both the former treasurer and Miss Turnsek had been at the same Kings Park wedding reception. Later, she went to his house, saw the damage and asked what happened weeks before the Premier was told. If there is any obligation or if anything comes out from the police investigation, that would become a matter uh, for the Public Sector Commissioner or the Head of Premier and Cabinet. He says he would have found out eventually. That car would have come back to the government garage at some stage. The damage would have been seen and assessed. A report would have been made. Two days after Miss Turnsek saw the damage, she had a 45-minute meeting with the Premier's top two advisers. He says the issue wasn't raised and his advisers didn't ask. I have no confidence in the government. I have no confidence that they're telling the truth. Today, Energy Minister Mike Nahan was announced as Mr Buswell's replacement as Treasurer. I always believe that uh, privatisation has its place. And after only one year in Parliament, former ANZ Bank Executive Dean Nowder becomes the new Transport Minister. Josh Yerger, Nine News.